guys, welcome back to Stitching with Callius. This is episode six. Seven? Seven. Right? Six or seven? It's episode Louisa Adams. Louisa <laughs> Adams, yep. <laughs> um, my name is Emmy. And I'm Jessie. Um, and then what are you? What are you wearing? Today? You want to do what I'm wearing first? What are okay. you wearing? Let's see. So Emmy and Mom, it was kind of a group project from them. <laughs> Emmy won the giveaway. I, I won our first ever giveaway. <laughs> um. <laughs> so this was, hold on, our thing sideways. It was a two sheeps giveaway. Um, and the yarn was from Siren Fiber Arts. And it was the Wicked Practical Shaw. So she won the yarn. And mom, mom knit it for me. Knit it. <laughs> yeah. It's very, it's nice and lightweight and comfy. Yeah, good for and spring, good for fall. I like the tweed in it. Yeah. This was like the first tweed thing I got. And I think this is where I like fell started with to it. really, yeah. yeah. All right. What about you, Emmy? <laughs> I'm wearing my finished object. Yay! I finished my, um, my rocket tee, finally. Um, and it is. Knitted with yarn, and the colorway is Little Mermaid. No. no, Ariel. No, 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 hold on. It's something Mermaid. Under the sea. Yeah. It's something with the Little Mermaid. <laughs> right? I know That's how I usually remember but yeah. it. <laughs> um, I love it. I've worn it a couple times now. And yeah. Our first time was Easter? First time was Easter. I wore it today to work. Um, so, yeah. I'm, I'm really, I like it. It's comfortable. It is. It Extra like long it. because. <laughs> you made it longer than what yeah. the pattern said, right? Yeah. And then I did the I-cord bind off on the sleeves and the hem. I have soon to be neck. <laughs> I have not done the neck yet, so it's technically not finished. But, but it's like when something's almost done and you're like, no, I'm, I'm done. I'm just done with <laughs> it. Done. Maybe eventually I will. I mean, I think it looks okay without it. Yeah, it doesn't look bad. No one can to. tell. <laughs> Unless they're really looking. Right. But... And I think even then, just, like, a knitter would know. Because right. I wouldn't know. You wouldn't. I'd be like, oh, that's cute. Yeah. <laughs> All, All right. right. You want to do our housekeeping? Oh, wait. Our question of the day. Question of yeah. the day. All right. There was, I, I don't remember. It was, like, some podcast I was watching. And they were like, it's time for question of the week. That's, that's what, what makes me think of when it needs a name, that. like our first lady feature. It needs a little name it for this needs, little segment. Um, <laughs> we'll think of if you have yeah, something clever, leave it in the comments. <laughs> um, all right. Um, <laughs> so what's I want you to answer first? Cause oh, <laughs> I need a second to like figure it out. All right. What is your favorite thing to knit or crochet? I would rather crochet. I don't know, because I just, I like doing all of them, but I'm really bad at finishing them. Um, <laughs> What's your favorite so, thing to start? <laughs> I don't know. Now that I've finished a sweater, I might be on a sweater kick. I did finish that blanket. Blankets are just fun, because you get to be all cozy. Yeah. Um, they're like, I did but something. But I do <laughs> really like... I don't like knitting socks, but I have a sock machine, and I like knitting socks on my sock machine, because I can get a pair of socks done in like an hour, compared to like you a said year. you like doing the sweaters now. Mom, yeah. When mom started doing sweaters. That's all she did? Yeah, then that's all she does now. Yeah. I like shawls, but I, I don't know. I, I don't know. Hard choices. Yeah. I, I wouldn't, I think now I'm more, like, even when I've been purchasing yarn, I've been purchasing, like, sweater quantity. Oh, really? Or, like, pieces and parts to put together for a sweater or a shirt or whatever. Um, because I'm like, well, if I have one of this and one of this. I uh, like. Then you can make. Socks. I'm just gonna keep making <laughs> socks, and and no one ever gets to see all your and hard I don't want to spend that feet. much money on <laughs> making socks. Like I want socks. I want hand knit socks. I love them, but 
I also want hand knit <laughs> shirts and stuff. Okay. What's your favorite? <laughs> okay. I really like doing blankets. I like the corner to corner blanket. Um, I will say that was my yeah. favorite. It's just really easy and fast. But like now that I've done, I'm trying to think. I'm up to one, two, three, three finished shawls, and I have two going. Oh, that's another thing. I don't, I don't have it with me though. Okay, I have three finished shawls that I've done, and um, two in progress shawls. So I kind of like doing them, and I didn't think yeah. they'd have a lot of good patterns for like crochet, crochet. ones. But I, I've, I've had a yeah. couple good ones. Yeah, I think I like doing crocheted shawls more yeah um a lot of it's a it double goes, crochet yeah it grow it goes a lot and fast. Grows. <laughs> goes and grows faster but even like i like the puff stitches yeah quite a few of them have had puff stitches i, I think that i only have i have one shawl that i'm working on that's knit the rest of the ones that i have done or crochet. You've crocheted a shawl? Which one? I have a couple. I'm trying to think of them. I have um the I wore it a couple weeks ago. Um the mustard seed. Oh yeah. One. I remember that one. Um the very like muted colors. Yeah. I have a I think a purpley bluish one. Oh yep. I've got I little like too. cowls that I've yeah. crocheted. I think it just goes faster. It does. Although I can go some really a lot, good patterns. Yeah. I can go a lot faster with crochet than I can knitting, but I like the fabric of knitting more than I like crochet. See, so just tighten up your tension and then Maybe. it'll kind of be the yeah. same. I thought <laughs> I, I did like crochet. <laughs> I thought I did crochet tight until you <laughs> started so <laughs> it happens yeah <laughs> and i didn't think i crocheted that tight and then and then we you picked up it. her fabric <laughs> yeah. and we're like wow you've said it mom said it our friend jennifer has said it she, i'm like oh yeah. thanks guys i didn't think yeah. it was but like i like but it's so nice and neat and precise it, yeah. and and I like it to look more closed, like yeah, knitting wood. Don't like I don't holy, like, yeah. holy things. Not down for the holes. <laughs> no. No. Then we get cold. I don't like And I am cold all the time, so. Yeah. All right. You want to do our housekeeping for us? Housekeeping. Um, We have a trunk show coming up um, this weekend, April 30th at Yay. Designing Women. Woman? Designing Woman. Woman. Yes. She corrected me on it, and I well, still like, said it wrong. I had been thinking it was that, but it, I thought it because of the ins her Instagram handle. But then I was like, well, is it just because woman? It's one like it's her Instagram, or her, but no, it's woman <laughs> in Fairlawn. <laughs> we'll be um, there. <laughs> we'll be there. Um, and then we're also going to be sending out May's Skeen Story Unwound boxes on May first. And I finished up a little thing for that this yeah. week. And I've and got more. You are working on a couple things. Well, and we'll you get and into Mom both our finished adventures. Yeah. They got a fun picture, I'll tell you guys. Yeah. <laughs> um, so those will be coming, they'll be shipping on May 1st. Um, and then you, I will not be joining them for this show, oh, but not? no. Aww. Work. <laughs> Work. Well, May, uh, no, not work, but who knows if Ben's going to be working. So Someone's going to watch the baby. Um, and we got a new puppy, so. Uh, but we'll anyways. <laughs> anyways, we'll be, at, they will be at Ileana Fiber Festival, um, May 21st and 22nd. Um, and this one's a new one for us. And I think it's yeah. a new show and it's yeah. in, in Indiana. Indiana. Yeah. Ileana in Indiana. <laughs> isn't it? Isn't that the name? Yeah. The city? I name? think so, yeah. Ileana, Indiana. Um, Man, I would like, I would stumble on la, that. La, 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 la. <laughs> yeah. Um, and then you will uh, get the chance to see us <laughs> on uh, Politically Incorrect Knitters 
making a guest appearance, um, and we will be recording with them on May 1st. And, and Emmy doesn't know this. Uh-oh. <laughs> Our mom, Melissa, will be joining us. <laughs> Yay! Uh, I have been patiently waiting to tell her. <laughs> oh, good. <laughs> I know. So that, if you haven't seen her or met Melissa yet, um, you know who, with us. You know who's going to be so excited? Who? Ben. Oh, really? Because he's yeah. like, he's been bugging us to get her to come on to the podcast, saying she needs to be here. She so is needs he actually going to gonna watch it? <laughs> so he may actually watch that. Um, he said all the people that watch us need to know who <laughs> created the company. Um, she says she just dies so the yeah. yard. <laughs> yeah. We're, we do all the creative stuff she just dies yarn um <laughs> so it'll be fun if you yeah haven't, if you so, haven't definitely watch her yeah. she's hilarious yeah we'll um we'll be recording on may 1st um i'm not sure when they will air it i'm sure they I will think they get it let us know fast. yeah um and then that's all i have for yeah. housekeeping you want to do our first lady features yes. oh no we didn't grab her today i oh. will Stick a picture in, right? Da, 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 da. Right here. It's Louisa Adams. Um, it's a really pretty, like, yellow and gray uh, colorway. It's like a butter cup kind of yellow, I would say. You don't think so? I, what do you say Well, I thought it was the one you posted on Instagram it today. It's like a butter cup I thought yellow. it was blue. Oh, no. Um, I think that's just, like, the phone light. Maybe. It's definitely yellow. <laughs> Not I have to look, look at this. Uh, anyways, while she's looking at that, um, she was our first lady from 1825 to 1829, and she is the first and only one of two uh, first ladies who were born outside of the U.S. or the 13 colonies. So I thought that was pretty cool. Um, the second being Melania Trump, and she was born in... I think one of the Slavic states, maybe, um, um, or countries. Yeah, I would say, like... A, well, it has gray. Yeah, it has gray, so the gray... Oh, it's going to be Oh, I'll definitely put a picture in there. <laughs> um, Go check out our Instagram. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so it's a yellow and a gray, and it's very pretty. Yeah. So anyways... Anywho. She's only one of two born outside of the U.S. <laughs> um, very neat. She was born in Lon London, England. Um, not like much of her life before her marriage to John Quincy Adams is known or like recorded, but they got married in or 1797 when she was 22 years old. Um, and while I was reading, I found out that he like tried to court her older sister first. Oh, and then it says she said or he settled for settled. I know settled. I'm like. I wouldn't want to be known for that. Right. <laughs> for Louisa. Um, yikes. <laughs> All right. Man. I kind of wonder, like, what happened that her older her sister older didn't... sister didn't want yeah. to... <laughs> like, what was hmm. her reasoning? <laughs> um, so when they first got married, they lived in Berlin together. And from there, they moved back to Quincy, Massachusetts, where she met her mother-in-law for the first time. Um, and that's Abigail Adams. She's one of the two that had a son who was also president. Um, I think the second was uh, George W. Bush. George W. H. Bush. Um, George Bush. Yeah. One of the Georges <laughs> was the second one. I think George... George W. H. was the, the dad. Oh, I right? thought it was the second. I don't know. We'll find this yeah. out in like a year when we yeah, do Yeah, when we episode. get to that episode. <laughs> Which George it was. Um, but Laura would have been the second. Yes. And then Barbara was the first. So Barbara's yeah. basically Abigail in this situation. <laughs> Anyways, so she met her for the first time, which I thought was weird. They um didn't meet at the wedding. Or like oh. independent. it didn't say like why they hadn't met previously but like you would think i didn't even think of that yeah <laughs> like why didn't they meet at the wedding was she not out the wedding they did 
I right. didn't find anything that specifically said why. Hmm. Odd. <laughs> That's um, strange. <laughs> yeah. And so after they met Abigail, well, after Louisa met Abigail, John Quincy's career um, called for them to move again, and this time back or to Berlin. Um, she left their older children to attend school in Massachusetts, so she like left them behind. And they took um, their youngest son, Charles, who was two years old at the time, with them to Russia. Um, they... Can't imagine leaving. I know. <laughs> to go to school. Like, uh... But, like, also to bring your kids to Russia, I'd also be scared of that. I don't know. I... Well, we also have never <laughs> left the country. <laughs> no. Besides Niagara Falls. Yeah, Canada. One time. <laughs> when we were like five. Yeah. So. <laughs> All right. And then um, during another move, he had left for uh, Europe. I think he was in Paris at the time. So they had to leave and follow him. Um, so they had to take a 40-day trek. So it's her and a two-year-old nope. traveling across Europe. In the cold, it was winter, and they were riding a sleigh. <laughs> which I thought was kind of... Oh, my goodness. It's neat in theory now, but, like, right. those 40 days for her... Were probably, like, the awful. longest days ever. Well, we went down to Amish country last... Or this weekend, and there were, like, babies in the buggies. And, like, <laughs> I've never thought of it, like... And then now that I'm a mom, I'm right. like... That would terrify me to just be, like, exposed no with seat. a baby and no car seat and yeah and with cars flying on their roads and yeah. stuff now nah <laughs> so when um john quincy was appointed secretary of state they finally got to settle back in washington um dc and that's where she was able to become like a wonderful host to like all the government leaders and the diplomats and like their wives and she was pretty well known for um performing the harp for her guests. Um, oh. She's like a well-known art or harpist, which I thought was really neat. That's cool. Yeah. I remember I had an American Girl doll that came with, or like a set, mm -hmm. like in the outfits that came with a harp. And I always thought it was the coolest thing. And I was right. like, I wish I could play I a harp. I remember that one. <laughs> I want a harp. It didn't happen. <laughs> but I'm they not have to gifted. be such like yeah. beautiful they are beautiful instruments and sound You're very nice. Right. Like, how do you mess up a harp? <laughs> I'm sure I could figure it out, but... She's not that's musically very, inclined yeah, at all. Yeah, no. Instrumentally inclined. Well, yeah. just no. Just no. <laughs> she, she can't keep her rhythm. No. But she, has, she sings nice, yeah. though. <laughs> sings. Yeah, I think you have a nice voice. <laughs> But that's cool. I always yeah. wanted to learn an instrument, and it just didn't work out that way. Right. <laughs> so she she was really well known for playing the harp for her guests. Um, and then her time in the White House, it was really difficult for her. Um, it was dimmed by like the politics, and she had like a really deep depression during this time. Um, so it's kind of sad that she spent like all four years. She spent them in um, a lot of the time in her drawing room, like by herself, reading and composing music and playing her harp. Hmm. Yeah. I mean, and I'm sure it had to have been hard. Yeah. I don't envy the First Ladies at all. No. Especially now they're so like watched over and they yeah. can't do anything. So um, she, she kind of got out of her such like the depressive state i don't know if she was ever like fully uh but she it got better when she got to move out of the white house um he did become a member of the house of representatives so they stayed in washington um for a lot of their time and but it did say like their life together became a little easier um, yeah and like i was reading things that john quincy like had wrote about her and it was, like, all very formal, like, formal things to say about your wife. So, I don't know. Like, yeah. He was, like, you know, she was a good mother, very watchful of their children. And, but like, 
I feel like he didn't know her as a woman. Yeah. <laughs> like we we're trying to now. And it's kind of sad. It was probably a, not an easy yeah. marriage. Probably not. All right. Mm -hmm. So that's it for our first lady feature. And um, again, we will put a picture of her. She's not oh, blue. Leon. She's yellow. <laughs> yellow and gray. <laughs> All right. You want to do your first finished object, which you kind of talked about for a minute? Yeah. <laughs> so it's my it's my tea. That's uh, what I finished this week. Um, well, actually, last week. Yeah. But she between... finished on Easter Day. I did. Right uh, before at church. At 10 a.m. <laughs> I finished. When she was supposed when to be there. When I was supposed to be there. I finished at 10 a.m. <laughs> I just had to bind off the sleeve. <laughs> I had one done the night before, and then I had one more to do, but I was exhausted. I was so tired. I needed to sleep. So I set my alarm to wake up, and I did not wake up. And then um, the Easter Bunny was out late. The Easter Bunny <laughs> did not. Um, That's the best way oh, to describe yeah. that. All right, so did you say so who, I finished what the pattern was? Um, Rocket Tea by Tina... Oh, man, we've looked this up. I've looked this up many times. Tina. I know. I know it, too. Tina something. A Tina. We'll put it. Well, we'll the we'll next it pattern <laughs> that I want to do is also by a Tina, but it's oh, somebody different. Not. Um, so, I finished it. It's fun. I like yes. it a lot. And you said it was yeah. Under the Sea? Under the Sea by Knitted Wit. And then you used a mohair, mohair and, a and fingering. fingering. And it's a single ply fingering. Well, and I've be never weird. worked with it before. Um, Did you like it? No. No. I so probably won't do it again. Probably <laughs> won't ever get a single ply again. I like it. I feel like, I like so it. Easy to it's like. pretty. Um, but I, I poked through it a lot. <laughs> it happens. Now you know. Now I know. You tried something new. I did. So that's my finished object. Um, I did finish something for the box. Um, and hopefully we'll get to do yeah. um, uh, an unboxing um, video again yeah. soon. Um, so you you'll it. see it there. Yeah. Um, that's it? Oh, yeah. I I did finish something else. What did you finish? Your guys' surprises. Oh, yeah. But they're not ready yet. No. So she can't I talk about to, it because yeah. mom watches this and the yeah. surprises for her. <laughs> and they're, yeah. So hopefully. She ordered I something get this. very cool. <laughs> yes. We will. Yes, yes, yes. We will say that. Very neat. So I did the artwork for it and then. It got delivered. It got delivered and <laughs> now I have to put everything together. Um, What right. did you finish? My turn. <laughs> you had a lot done. I did. All right, we'll start with my basket of bunnies. <laughs> They're right. so cute. So this one is number ones. It will match his blanket that I made. I made the blankets for Christmas, um, and then they each got a bunny for Easter. So number one's bunny. Number two's bunny. Floppy ears. I love that the ears are they're very <laughs> floppy. Yeah. Uh, we got number three is bunny. Number four is bunny. She kind of ended up with a no neck, but <laughs> they, they all go together so I know. well. But if you look, okay, if you really look, which I suggest not really looking, they are each like there are differences in each of them. Even though I made like all the heads at the same time, all the bodies, like all the, everything I did in sections. <laughs> And they still ended up different. And then there's no neck over here. <laughs> well, that's okay because number number four yeah. is kind of still squatty. Yeah. <laughs> He's still, I'll just say he his babiness He's inspired. Like, <laughs> yeah. So yeah. these were done with um, crochet cute critters. It was a book by Sarah Zimmerman, and the pattern is Rosie the Rabbit, I believe. Um, so I crocheted all these little guys, and I like the crocheting part. I don't mind the stuffing part. I thoroughly hate, <laughs> hate the sewing part <laughs> so much, and I, I cannot sew. <laughs> but like, other than the sewing, I thought they turned out okay. I feel like I never sew things. 
property. Right. Like, okay. Or, like, securely enough. I can show you, like, the ears. Like, this one's farther back than this one. But, like, it my just theory makes it is, goofy. Yeah. They're just funny little bunnies. <laughs> They're a bunch of little boys. They yeah. won't notice. And, like, these two I finished on time. Um, and so they've had them a little while longer. So they've, like, the more you kind of play with them. They've kind of. Yeah. They look more normal now. <laughs> but this one, like, I finished today. <laughs> this one reminds me stiff. of, um, Blue's Clues. <laughs> The dog from Blue's Clues. With all the different blues. Yeah, and the ears. I know. <laughs> but so I like them. They're, They're fun cute. to do. And I will probably take a giant break from Amigurumi. Yeah. <laughs> that, that was enough. Until you decide to do your Harry Potter ones. Yes. But I don't know about the sewing. I, I really need a break from the sewing. <laughs> so that was my first one. It's like when we asked at the beginning, what's your favorite thing to make? It's not these. Not these. Those They're very your, cute. Your <laughs> least favorite? Uh, just just for the sewing alone. The rest of it goes so quickly. Yeah. It probably takes me, I, and this I'm sure it's not everyone, as long to sew as it did to make the rest of it. <laughs> it's just me though. I'm sure it's not anyone else. <laughs> but like a, you gotta go around a couple times and yeah. then like, like I tie it off and everything, but I don't want to like leave a little thing poking so i like so you have to weave poke that it. in i poke then... it like into the stuffing oh and then i like cut it and then stuff the the end back into the stuffing because then i figure they can't ever pull it out because i don't know where it is yeah <laughs> they don't know where the string is that's true that's my that's my that's theory true. we'll see how they hold up <laughs> all right my next finished object which i am so proud of it's so pretty is my arabella shawl it I think it's ginormous. It was very warm on Easter. Okay. We, we were supposed to warm up a little bit <laughs> we and we did not. All of this, these like cute springy Eastery clothes. And I had a nice little dress to go on this. And then Easter happened. It was 35. I think we had snow. There, uh, it was like snow the rainy next day. snow. It might have been like that morning. It was awful. It so was... I did not wear my dress. <laughs> It was I wore so this. cold. But so it kept me warm though. I yeah. think the mohair did a good job. So this is my Arabella Shaw by um, Crochet by Luca. And then first up is my Marled, which is here. And then I mirrored them so it's at the bottom. And that's um, our yarn. So Callie's Designs, Eliza Sp Spaulding. And that is Marled. Um, then we've got our mohair. And then the mohair is down here as well. And that's the Super Fine Yarn Co. And it's the um, Leaf One of a Kind. So I'm glad I had enough to finish. <laughs> and so for the one, I was really nervous when I was doing it. Yeah. I was like, oh my goodness. I know. And then I have my Created for You by Laura. Um, this is the Tweed. With, um, it was Golden Poppy. And so she's also right there on the other side. And then I've got my Mid Coast Springs Targeeling Twist um, number eight. And like, I love that one. I it's do. It's my favorite. I can pull it up a little. They, they all went together so well. I think this one really tied everything together. I think it did too. And it gave and it the like that, that pop. It. Yeah. Because like, oh, before, you're showing the wrong stuff. Oh, very possible. It, 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 no, you are. <laughs> Hold on. Your little bobbles. No. It was yeah. Just, no. No, because this is all on the... Your bobbles are on this side. Maybe. No, no. <laughs> I know this part's supposed to be up. Well, your bobbles... The bobbles go both way. No, they don't. <laughs> Not on these. <laughs> on which one? Anyways, so I decided to mirror it because um, I only had enough to do one row of the, the Targeeling Twist, which I... I like that it ended up mirrored because I think that helped tie it together mm -hmm. too. I think and this I, just like breaks up all the right. greens and then ties and then the, the blue in. Yeah. Oh, and, and then I forgot my little um. I love the border. Yeah. It's cute. So this is I had to use my Gwen Matthewman that I had used on another project of mine, and that's another. Oh, so you just had a yeah. little leftover. It's little another bits. Callius yarn. And so it's my little border. And these 
um, inspired my socks for our box. Oh, for the box. I <laughs> forgot you. for a box. <laughs> Sock box. <laughs> yes. So there's a little hint at what my socks look like. <laughs> they end up And what these. your pattern is. Yeah. <laughs> so I really like doing this pattern. Um, mostly you're doing the so same four things over, but I think it helped really break it up with like using the different yarns and switching so often. Um, just kind of mm. kept me entertained. I was always like, okay, I want to get to like the world and to the. I want to get to the next one. <laughs> yeah. yeah, it really kept me like motivated and going mm -hmm. because really it was just the same four things. But I think the colors like bring the pattern. Yeah. Life. <laughs> yeah. So I really recommend doing this pattern, but definitely pick some fun yarns if you're gonna do it. Yeah. <laughs> Yay. And then mom. Yes. Finished. Uh, we only have three of them here. But she did finish all four on time for Easter. <laughs> I don't remember the pattern. Boys uh, can wear pink. Yeah. Boys can wear pink. Here's the littlest. Which we still don't know why it's called that. <laughs> we don't know. Because it wasn't pink. <laughs> no. Here's the, the, the medium one. <laughs> and he picked out his green. Yeah, he we had like, two I different want... greens. So he went in the brighter one. And of course, number four is like, he doesn't care. <laughs> and then number one picked out his cyan. <laughs> well, the little turd. <laughs> so me and mom pick out this color because it was the closest thing to cyan that this we is could all, find. All based on imposters. He loves cyan. <laughs> it's like his favorite color. But he calls it sand. <laughs> yeah. Sand. So everyone thinks he likes the color sand. It's cyan. It's cyan. <laughs> I'm like, but, no, he's not that bland. <laughs> so we, we picked this out for that purpose. And he's like, that's not sand. And I think it's pretty dead on I, for the yeah. imposters. I'm like, Cameron, like, I picked that just for right. you. We need to, like, show him a picture of the little imposter. Oh, we have those in the bag, Um, the, oh, the ones yeah. that come apart. We can show it to him. Well, maybe we should check it before so yeah. we know if it's right maybe <laughs> that would be funny yeah but so mom got all of her little sweaters done and then um mine's my little ones is uh like a it's like a blueberry yeah and they it's really like a purpley all blue they and they together yeah they looked really cute on easter um all wearing some tan pants yep um so I was really, she yeah. like dropped him off. She told us it was going to be a late night drop off. It, it was like, like an evening, evening drop off. Yeah. It so wasn't it, too late. I thought it was going to be later. Yeah. I was expecting it to be like midnight. Midnight too. At <laughs> Whatever. Least. So um, she finished first. Um, Emmy finished last. Finished. Well, finished. And then I didn't finish the bunnies till today. So technically I beat you though because you haven't finished your collar. I really thought. Maybe I am done. Maybe I'll just leave it. <laughs> just so you can win. Yeah. Maybe yours from now I'll finish it. <laughs> so we, you know, we all mostly finished. Number we, we were, after Church on Wednesday, we usually go get ice cream and we call it ice cream race. Well, we said we were having a yarn race because <laughs> we were all trying to finish on time uh, we did though I we got it, it. Yeah. we got it good enough we survived <laughs> we survived uh, that's all that matters that's that's all that matters holidays are rough they are they are all that's right for sure you got any whips all right um so i really haven't done much on it because i was trying to get this done um but i've got two whips in progress i i don't have the second one with me because it's not possible to bring it with me i don't know your wheel's pretty light, it, light. I can, it's portable <laughs> but i didn't want to i didn't want to take it to work and and you can't fold it up with the yeah <laughs> work. well i can oh you can yeah you can fold it up while you're well you failed then yeah you guys missed out because i mean didn't want to fold it up <laughs> so i'm i've made like an inch progress on my uh sea glass tea um it's a lot of fun right now this is the color that i'm on and of course my gray that i'm holding with it um it's gonna take forever 
and thankfully it's just a t-shirt it's not long sleeve um, I just, can we pause I just, I just want everyone to acknowledge this is two weeks in a row emmy's had a, a finished object because yeah. last time was yeah. her blanket this and this is my sweater. don't get yeah. used to it no i'm so proud of well actually I i'll probably <laughs> have this won't be done <laughs> but I'll probably have another finished object okay. for our oh, next well, that, episode. Yeah. There we go. Um, I was thinking about it because I'm like, oh, yeah. she only made an inch, but like it's an inch. But she was really busy but, on the shirt. Yeah. And I'm like, oh, she's finished two things. So, yeah. <laughs> to Emmy. <laughs> um, and so the next thing I'm working on is um, I was spinning some fiber this week. I was just like, I need something I can just relax. I wanted like more instant gratification. <laughs> Um, <laughs> after finishing after that. finishing this, I was like, "Oh, this feels good." <laughs> well, and so, the blanket, the and blanket. The blanket. <laughs> so I was like, "Man, I just I want something I can get done fast." <laughs> um, so I have four ounces of I believe it was fourteen micron merino um, from Fat Cat Fat Cat Knits. Yeah, um, and the colorway is Zing, and, and boy, <laughs> it is gorgeous it is it's so pretty <laughs> so there's like a bright orchid i'm telling you it's probably almost identical to this um so like that bright bright orchid there and then there's a bright neon green there's like a turquoise there's so if you run out of minis for this you could just throw that in I there could. I could, I could just, just finish it out with that. Use that. Yeah, um, they go. It, it's, yeah. it's the bright green in the orchid. Yeah. And, and then it has go. like a periwinkle and gray and it's so pretty. And so I'm doing a fractal spin. So I divided it into four sections and then I'll ply it. I'm just doing a two ply. I'm not, and you said I'm not they brave all, enough to. All your piles of fluff for different sizes right? yeah so the first one was the smallest then the so small medium large extra large extra large it, it wasn't really that big but so i, I started with, with right <laughs> so i started with the full, and the smallest and i worked my way to the largest i'm currently mm, halfway done with the largest ball and i could have brought my wheel with me and just <laughs> popped it up <laughs> showed you guys but you know it'll be more fun next week when i have it done there you go or two weeks or whatever it is from now um so i have that and i'll just yeah, apply next week it we have a show yeah no. <laughs> no filming on show weeks we learned our lesson yes i um, want to like curl in a ball and yeah <laughs> never so, come out so i'm really i'm excited to apply it because i've never done a fractal spin um i think these colors i think will be really it'll be pretty. really neat to see it and with it being the different sizes um like the smallest the it colors kind of end up like the shawl yeah with the milk it'll, spun. yeah because they like it's you, very because it goes pink, similar green, colors green, blue but yeah. brighter i um, think those look nice together mm -hmm. so it It'll be fun to see how it applies because I'll have a short section of the orchid with a long section of the orchid. Mm -hmm. So then it'll go into the, I it think really green is, is like next. That. Yeah. And it'll, I'm so excited to see and it these done. these colors look good um, together. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So I have that. Um, and then I do have my next sweater picked out. I'm really excited for it. Um, it is with Callius Designs Yarn. Um, it is the Grandma Medley sweater by Tina Say, and she's on Instagram, Tina Say Knits, I believe. I just want to say, like, Tina Say what? <laughs> um, What's so, it from? Um, Someone so say what? I know what you're talking about. I know. I can't think uh, of it. It was a show for a moment, a little. Yeah. But these are my colors that I chose. Um... I have Dolly Parton right here. This will be my like main color. Um, and then I have Barbara Bush. She'll be the second main color. <laughs> <laughs> I'm 
Don't secondary. <laughs> Complimentary. Yeah. And then this one is Bethina Owens Adair. And this will be the third color. Those will all be pretty together. Yeah. Um, so I'll use more of Dolly and then Barbara and then Bethina. A little complimentary um, one. Yeah. And if you guys haven't seen that sweater, go check it out. It's so cool. What was it called again? Um, Grandma, but it's like G-R-M-M-A, Grandma, Grandma's Medley Sweater. Um, and oh, she wrote the, yeah, about she that. wrote the pattern, um, the year her grandma passed and I really liked the story. I really liked the sweater. I, so I just picked out some yarn at our last show and I was like, I'm doing it. <laughs> it looks like a lot of work, but it's, it's a really cool sweater. And that one is long sleeved. Oh, and so you might be done for winter. So I might be done for winter. There you go. We'll see how my, uh. Finishing streak <laughs> continues. <laughs> we'll, well see if I ever get this one done. Hey, you know, before but, the blanket, it was you did one ski and a. You're getting better. Yeah, yeah, we'll get there. Yeah, yeah, I'd say so. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. All right. What are you working on over there? What are you balling up? <laughs> okay, so first, I. <laughs> I don't know which way. Okay, this is what I'm doing now. This is my corner to corner. Um, it's with, let me grab the yarn names real fast. I had them all ready. Uh, da -da -da -da. Okay, I think this one was Snow Day. Yeah. Um, then we've got Solstice Heather, the Tidal Speckle, and Marina. And these are all the Brava Worsted yarn from um, Knit Picks. And They're very soft. They are very soft. I would have thought this was I love this yarn. Oh, no. Because it feels that soft. <laughs> yeah. And I'm making uh, my husband and I a uh, bedspread. Except I'm making, we only have a queen. Oh. But I'm making <laughs> a king. Yeah. Because he steals my blankets. I always, yeah. I, yeah. When we got married, I got a king size Just comforter. To, even though we had a queen, and it's so much better. So this is only like four days of work here. I'm trying to That's do like really a color a, a color a day. I'm like, That's sad. Uh, I don't I, know if I'll hold up with it, but I have a baby blanket I have to make, <laughs> and I'm doing a corner to corner, and it's just three skeins. Oh no! And I'm like, I don't know if I want to start this. You're only doing three skeins? Yeah. Oh, a tiny. <laughs> little baby blanket. Little baby blanket. Just a little little lap blanket. And then, um, so I had previously started this. And I did have um, nine. A couple more rows. Yeah, nine, well, no, no, nine um, you balls done. Just do a scarf. <laughs> just leave it as a scarf. Yeah. So I had nine balls done. And <laughs> I've taken out four and a half. Five and a half of them now. Five and a half now. And... I'm using these and putting them like, back in this just one. Just feeling the difference in the fabric, like that's gonna be so much more warm. Yeah, than this. like this is flimsy. It is. I guess. No, it is. Like um, okay, so this and a little more holy. I did not, um not too much, but it was the first thing I decided to make when I started crocheting, and I'm like, no, I'm just gonna do it. <laughs> so I just did it, and then I quit because I didn't like it. Yeah, and like the edges. They're not terrible, but they're also not, like, straight. Yeah. So, like, I yeah. like that the corner to corner is straight. Yes. <laughs> it makes it a whole lot easier. It does. So, that's what she's been winding up this whole time. Just in here. <laughs> Winding my balls. Let me help you. <laughs> uh, and then, all right, let's see. What else am I working on? Oh, I know what I'm working on. I don't even need my list. Actually, I do for the name. Um... This, oh yeah, little baby triangle, I just got to start this one, is my, um, it's the Sonia Shaw by, um, Sonia Caporali, she's Italian, Caporelli. she's an Italian Caporelli. pattern writer, Caporelli. Cap it's C-A-P-O-R-A-L-I, Caporali, Caporelli. I don't know. So, I apologize for saying your name wrong. We can't I really like your pattern. Like we've said. <laughs> but so, this is the start of it. <laughs> Get to see both sides. And you're using sparkle. I am. It's a sparkle. Um, So, this one is, these are Callius yarns. Um, I'm trying to make a sample for, 
Hopefully I'll have it done by Ileana. That's my Oh, goal. I thought you were going to say this weekend. No. I said, no, you're not. No. <laughs> <laughs> so this one is um on the sparkle base, Margaret Taylor. So she's our purple and green. Um, I have our little cakes ready, too. So that's Margaret Taylor. And then my my sweater's kind of clashing with oh, it. Makes it a little one? hard to hear. Let's see. <laughs> and then this one's um Angelica Van Buren. And she's a nice green and pink. And then we have our pink and purple, which is the Rachel Jackson. So, <laughs> mom dyed these because our favorite colors are green, purple, and pink. And so, we had to have a combo of the three of us. And so I wanted to make a, a shawl, a little sample with the three of us. With the three of us. So my yeah. thought is I'll start she with... She should have named them after us. She should have. Funny but... story, guys. Mom. Oh. <laughs> I know. <laughs> she said that she has no little girls <laughs> to name things after. And we, and we like, just, like, look at each <laughs> other and we're like, we're chopped liver Hello? <laughs> Are you? I can't. I, I thought I was. I was told so. I was. So, um. She hasn't lived that down yet. No, she has not. So. But. All right. Anywho. Leave poor mom alone. Because she's going to be joining us. So we'll leave her alone. we can pick on her. Oh, no. She would never do it again. Never. Okay, so I'm starting with, this one is mainly purple with a little bit of green. And then I will be doing the mainly green, green with, with a little the... bit of pink. And then mainly pink, pink with a little bit of purple. There we go. That's my, that's my, so spread Your... it out and tie it together. Yeah. <laughs> I think, I think it, work. anyway, you yeah. would, it. Eventually, it goes together somehow. <laughs> I mean, go wrong. <laughs> but uh, I like it. Oh, you! I'm do excited have you're doing in progress. Okay. I do. Yeah, go. <laughs> um, I'm excited you're using the sparkle because I thought yes. about using it for this, but we haven't dyed Dolly on sparkle yet. Yeah. Um. Actually, I don't know that. And I of, also, or don't, maybe I think Barbara is Bethina. I don't. I think we're we sold out of the Barbara. Oh, maybe. Yeah. Um, but. I um, have very sensitive skin, so <laughs> I am unsure about wearing sparkle. You could try mine. Right, see we'll how see. It goes. Um, that way you don't have to put all the work into yeah. it. Yeah. <laughs> I, I love sparkle. I would buy everything in sparkle <laughs> if I knew it wouldn't itch me. And I only, I really only have a few skeins in sparkle. Yeah. And I haven't used them because it makes me nervous. And Emmy's the most sparkly of people. I like... <laughs> It itches. All right. What's my... Your other work in progress. Oh, Me. yeah. <laughs> oh, <are>. yeah. <laughs> I started something. Yeah. I finished she it, finished too. too. I finished before she you did. because I didn't Only like one, mine. though. <laughs> <laughs> Weird. Okay. So, <laughs> Emmy, Mom, and I are all making two blankets together just to do it together because it'll be fun. We, yes. We might end up doing more, but we're starting I think two. we should do I more. I think, too. I think this I'm is such so a excited. Idea. So we're doing really cool like color schemes. We've got like a primarily green color scheme um, with a tan. I think so. It's like a tan, as like our the like, border border. I yeah. Think. So it'll or no the dark dark green is the border. The tan is anyways. Oh, uh, one of the so, colors. So mainly green and tan, and then we have a mainly blue with. A gray and I'm like the colors together are just perfect and I can't wait to see it done so I'm so excited I'm making like one we're doing group. granny squares yeah so my colors Emmy doesn't have her I she can did him I didn't know time. we were um yeah I think we, off my, we did these the colors we, were, we worked that's on true these. we did <laughs> okay so mine's fjord heather f-j-o-r-d fjord Fjord. Okay. Yeah. Fjord Heather. And this one's for the blue blanket. And this is the Wool of the Andes um, from Knit Picks. And I like, I like that one. I love that yeah. one. And it's then, like icy blue. It is. 
very nice. And then noble heather is my other color. I got all the heathers. You did. I <laughs> also just random. really like that one. Um, yes. And I'm not a green person. And so, but it's pretty. This is for one blanket. This is for the other. Yeah. And so we're so each doing. We each a have third of it. One color for each blanket. Yeah. Um, and then, um, we'll do we'll one. We'll do the borders. Yeah. We'll have one one pattern per color. Yeah. So she'll make all the squares. I think I this might just way. do all of mine the same. For both blankets. Yeah. I think just to keep it I was, and fast. I was thinking about that too. I don't think this is my square um that I did and it looks really cute with Emmy's because she has O's. I have <laughs> us it's four O four circles. Yeah. And then a, just a a border border kinda. around it. Um but I like yours with mine. I do. Because it was not so, easy. <laughs> and it's I'm, not fast. It's like she has like little X's. And I made O's, so, so they're X's, X's and O's. O's. And mom I, hasn't done hers yet. Um, if she does a plain one, it'll. But if she does, yeah, maybe then we I'll have do... hugs and kiss blanket. <laughs> I'll. I might take this out and do like a, different... a simpler version of it. That would work. Yeah, hers is and smaller. Um, a little too big yeah. for the blanket. For what we for decided on six inches. Six by squares. six. Um. So we. Yeah. We're there working we on that, so hopefully yeah. we get those done soon, and we can show you guys. Sure, uh, and I've got to start that baby blanket. I'm actually sewing another baby blanket for another oh, friend. Yeah. Um, so you have lots of works in progress. I do, <laughs> and I also have to hem bend 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 bend. I have to hem Ben's pants. <laughs> And this mm. guy is not short. He should not need his pants hemmed. If he held his belt in the right spot, he if wouldn't he need it. If he pulled his pants up where they're supposed to be, it's like he wouldn't need it. Our youngest sister never wore her pants where we're, they went. And yeah. we're like, just, just, just pull, pull your up. pants up. Pull, pull them, like right, right here. Hit your belly button. Maybe a little lower. <laughs> we're, we're old. We wear <laughs> so old. pants at our waist. But I know. All these, and I, I heard that. look out for mom jeans. <laughs> I've heard that low rise jeans are gonna be making a comeback and i'm like oh why would we do that I feel didn't like the we ones they make now are low yeah. enough i'm like didn't we learn our lesson no they didn't no they didn't and they Can i think they not? have bell bottoms now again too. they do yeah which i'm here for that i won't wear them <laughs> no but i so enjoy cute. the aesthetic i like my mom jeans yeah, or my straight mom skinny jeans, jeans. <laughs> like skinny legged i like them tight at the bottom i don't right. care if they're tight <laughs> anywhere else just but at the just at the ankles <laughs> oh boy <laughs> all right well I, we did have... i think oh no hold no. on oh, we well, got yeah. one present actually i have two presents yeah to show do. my other one's hiding down there this okay. one's kind of neat it um is. it goes with our with our I little mean. our niche Mom got this for us and for the podcast and just so we can like learn a little bit more. Um, this is the Smithsonian First Ladies Collection. And it's just a really neat little book on, I think it has all I the first ladies. I love the dress on the front. Yeah, oh, well, um, they show a lot of really that? cool dresses. I'm not sure whose that is. That is um, pretty. I think it's that one right there. Oh, um, is that Michelle's? I don't think so. It might be. I'm pretty sure that's the same one. No, I don't think it is. I don't know. Um, it's they, so pretty. There's though. a bunch of really pretty dresses, and it, you know, it has like, it had Louisa Adams harp in there, and um, they have like different gifts from their husbands, and so you guys will be getting to hear about this. Yeah, you know, throughout the we, podcast, we um, definitely don't yeah. claim to be like. We don't know this stuff. No. We have to. She <laughs> does the research. So and that, like um, we've read different will help things, us. Um, but this definitely helps for like telling people yeah. things. Um, yeah, but it's interesting. We definitely like encourage you to you know go out and find a cool book like this or even this one. It's this uh, the by, Smithsonian yeah. First Ladies Collection by Lisa Catherine Grady and Kathleen. Lisa oh, Kathleen Grady. I can't. That's read okay. That. It's far away. And Amy Poston. Yeah. Name. Yeah, maiden name. <laughs> Whatever. Very close. Very <laughs> kind close. Of. But it's it's neat, and um, you yeah. know, we've watched documentaries, and you know, we try and find different sources to learn all these things. Yeah. 
but we definitely encourage you to do it's just interesting to know interesting to see these different sides of the ladies i like my weekly yeah. bi-weekly <laughs> history lessons, lessons. <laughs> They're so fun. we're learning, we're learning right with, with you guys. Yes, um, definitely. We don't claim to be experts. Especially not, mom definitely yeah, knows more than us. She um, does. But so she's gotten us so into it. She needs to be a <laughs> guest right? on our podcast. We could have her guest and she can she do, the first, do the first lady <laughs> segment. <laughs> Just pop in. <laughs> okay. And then she can go do out. whatever she is doing. All right. All right. What else do you have? You oh, have a okay. present. I do. My last birthday present got here. Um, can you pull up the pattern for it? Don't mind the label. My children have found my yarn. <laughs> um, I don't know what the pattern is. Uh, she, Mom sent it in our chat. Oh. Um, it's the Lang Yarns oh. Kylie, I think is the colorway. Um, I'm pretty sure it's a fingering weight. I think so. It feels like a fingering weight. It looks I think like so. it. Um, but it is a very pretty shade of like purple. Um, here. I should, don't see if that's black. Oh, no, it's definitely purple. It's, I think it's just like. I think it's black with pink. Abby, are you? I'm pretty sure that's black. It, it looks black at the store. I don't know. I think it's, it's like a deep purple. I'm pretty sure it's a deep purple. Maybe black with a purplish tint. It's black. <laughs> we'll, a purple black. We'll show mom and Andrew. So what's? Let me see the. Okay, the book that she got me the pattern for is, um, the Barocco. What'd she say? Meraki, Meraki, M E R K A K I, Meraki, Meraki. That might be it. Um, and then the pattern was Lanthe. Um, by, what was it, Allison Green? Yeah. Are you still looking for Yeah, fingering? I'm pretty sure it's fingering. I'm just going with it's fingering. Um, but it's a cotton, silk, wool, and viscose blend. It is gorgeous. It's really soft, too. It's, I love it. And so it's just like a little sweater. It doesn't, like, close or button. Um, a little so cardigan. A little... Eh, it's more of a sweater, like a, a Sunday church sweater. It's not a cardigan. I would, nah. Because cardigans are like heavier. No, they're not. I would definitely say cardigans. Cardigans are just like Mom said the it was a sweater, style. and I trust her and not you. <laughs> She's throwing that out we're there. Gonna, we're going to settle this <laughs> real quick. No, I'm not worried about it right now. <laughs> okay, so it's it's just like a cute little lightweight something, um, something to wear over top of things. And I was trying to venture out when I picked the color. You did. It's purplish tints. <laughs> it's black. I said purplish tints. I didn't say not black. <laughs> purplish tint. It is. It has other, it's like all blended it's together. It's got pink and orange. Well, no, and even if you look at the, the fiber itself, there's different colors blended into just the, the pink black. And the orange. No, you're not hearing what I'm saying. <laughs> the fiber itself, like not the fluffs and the tufts. Oh, okay. it, the fluffs and tufts. The fluffs and tufts. The truffle. <laughs> the truffle trees. <laughs> okay, but like it has I get other, what you're, yeah, yeah, like like that change the color hue. So that's why I'm saying it's like a black with a purplish hue because it has like the purple blended into the black. I like get you. when you're spinning. I get you. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I feel like you don't believe me. <laughs> All right. And on that note, <laughs> you got anything else? <laughs> I don't. <laughs> well, you can find us um, this weekend at <laughs> Designing Women and um, hear all of our widely entertaining wildly Banter. entertaining <laughs> <laughs> yes <laughs> and uh, so it's in Bearlawn. uh we'll be there i think 10 to 5 don't ask me 10 to 5 ish check instagram in the next like day or two for an update yeah. um <laughs> just to finalize those hours um definitely check oh we never got to talk about our boxes 
our May box and all our, our adventures. So we're not adventures. done. Adventures. Yes. Okay. I told you there was a story about the picture the I picture. sent you guys last night. I the, don't. You responded to the picture. I mean, I mean, sleep text. Oh. Is <laughs> he? She sent a picture. <laughs> okay. So hold on. <laughs> Let's start. Our boxes, we each have our patterns, and they're both done. Mom's is not done the night before we send it out this time, so kudos to Mom. Mm. They're both very cute socks, um, and we are using uh, Michelle Obama, Mamie Eisenhower, Martha Randolph, and then Babe Diedrichson Zaharius, and... Not Anne Bradstreet, but the one Lucretia Mott. That's what it was. And so all of them but Babe are like purple shades. Um, very springy. And I definitely think the Babe Diedrichson, like she's a like a sea foamy light green. Mm -hmm. She definitely like ties all the purple together. I think, um that and Michelle Obama, it's like got the neutral in with it. Yeah, a little bit of like brown. With the purple and yeah. And then um, Michelle and uh, Mamie each have a little bit Mamie, of green. Yeah, and Mamie is like a grayish. Yeah. So there's some like neutrals. Like a lavender. Yeah. Like a true lavender. Um, so those will be pretty together. You and lavender. Yeah. <laughs> Our friend I Mamie is her. gray. <laughs> Mamie is gray with purple and green and pink. <laughs> a gray purple is lavender. No, a gray oh. with purple. Oh. Purple okay. striping. Oh. <laughs> so, like, <laughs> you're making fun no. of me. <laughs> it's not the same. Uh, okay, and so I think it, they all tie. <laughs> I know, too. Emmy, I've seen um, the socks. <laughs> they look great. <laughs> and then Emmy's been colored. sending us our sheep yes, all week. A little all the oh, little sheepies are done. I can show you guys. Um, this is what I've been doing with my stickers from oh, Emmy. Yeah. This I put them all on my um, iPad. I'm trying trying to squash them all together the best I can. <laughs> yeah, you're not gonna get all of them. Uh, on no, there. definitely not. But I want to get as many as I can and yeah. then fill it in. Um, so I'm really excited for those. This one is Martha, Sarah Polk, and Edith Wilson from last time. So I'll be getting three more sheets yep. to show you guys. Three more sheepies. <laughs> Print enough for me. <laughs> Print you an extra. I told her the numbers of how many she needed it, and I forgot to include myself. <laughs> Although we did change the paper since what you have oh, on here. Oh, we did? Yeah, it's Aww, the glossy okay. paper. I'm okay with that. You can take those off, and I have... Oh, no. Anyway. stickers are on. <laughs> um, they are great stickers. They, like, this wouldn't come off. So... <laughs> Back to the picture she sent last night. Dad so. and I are working on um, one of the notions and potions the that you get. It's one for a first lady. I'll say that much for one of them. Um, they're special little somethings. But Emmy gets a picture. What? It's at like one in the morning. It's like, <laughs> and, and all I see is smoke in the garage. And I'm like. Are you guys burning the house down and taking pictures <laughs> of Just the stop fire? And the it, Picker, it didn't happen, right? Like, like what is happening? And then I fell asleep. <laughs> so you, we thought the house was on fire. Well, you said no oh, okay. almost, and okay. then I went to bed because okay. you were like, no, it's not on well, fire. Well, you didn't so. answer then, so I'm like, oh, so you just <laughs> let us die? Anyways, so why was the garage on almost Me. on fire? It really was. It just looked like it was. It probably there was not a fire. But um, so we were using a router. Dad and I are, and <laughs> there, it was probably up a little. Like we need to work into it a little more before we just went straight through it. And we thought we had. And you were just forcing it a little bit, and it made the world's most awful noise. And it um. The whole garage was smoky. So at 1 a.m., Dad and I are holding up the fans with the garage door open. Like the big, I had the big, like, utility just fan. To, just to, like, get the smoke out. Get the smoke out. No smoke 
detectors going yes. off. No. I don't know how the detector didn't go off. I don't know either because I use this my Instapot in my kitchen <laughs> and my smoke detector goes off in my dining room. From the steam. From the steam. And I'm like, every single time. And I jump. <laughs> it scares me every single time, even though I know, like, it's coming. It's going to. <laughs> it's going to happen. Oh. And then, that wasn't even, that probably wasn't even the worst part of the night. We were. There's more. <laughs> we were making a guide as well to work on this um, inclusion for the box. You need a guide so you can cut it. Nope. Okay. So, Dad's like. I don't know if this is going to go well. I might die. This isn't going to go well. So I preemptively had 911 dialed because I, like, I didn't push call or anything, but I fail in emergency. <laughs> and so I'm like, I just have it ready. I'm ready to go because. What were you doing? He, uh, he, he doing? turned the saw, the table saw, on his side at 40. Like, it is able to do that. So I don't know why he was worried, but he told me he was. So I was prepared. Uh, it went fine though. We all survived the night and you know, he has to wake up at like five, six in the morning. I'm like, dad, just, just go to bed. Go to bed. We're setting the house on the fire and almost <laughs> saws are on, on their sides. Yeah. And, oh my it's goodness. Bedtime. But it worked. All of our <laughs> hard work worked and we're all alive to tell the story. Uh, and then let's see what else <laughs> we got in our box. Oh, the the um i don't know much this time yeah, i just don't. did my sheep and so maybe i'll i'll save the rest for our unboxing yeah. video with them yeah um but those are <laughs> this time we just get to hear about our adventures and know about the colors <laughs> and hopefully no one dies in the process of making these boxes <laughs> it's like it's no like animals a... were <laughs> harmed and yep that's what i was thinking <laughs> No dad's died in the process. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Man. <laughs> he was, you know, and he always like, he procrastinates going out to do these things. But then, like, he has to wake up can't really early. can't go out early. alone. Yo, no, we can't go out alone. But he, he wakes up so early. And <laughs> then he I'm really like, would have, like, sleep. sawed a hand right? off or something. And no one would have been there. Nope. And he would have been holding the fan by himself. <laughs> one handed. <laughs> All right. Adventures of the Dodge. <laughs> yeah. It's a good way to conclude this. Yeah. All right. Yeah. All right. So, yes. um, let's see. Designing Women this weekend. Yeah. Like and subscribe to our lovely Stitching with Callius. <laughs> Find us on Instagram, Facebook. Yep. All Callius designs. <laughs> yeah. I wouldn't bother with TikTok. We're not on it. We like YouTube more. Yep. We're those people. Um... Yeah. Like, subscribe. Comment. Comment. Comment, yeah. Comment, comment. What comment. did we say to comment? Oh, what um, What you think our um, question of the day should be yeah, called. Yeah. yeah. We our segment. Know. We need also, something cute. Also, <laughs> what, what should next week's question of the yeah. episode be? We like hearing these. We yep. try and use them as much as we can. Mm -hmm. Um. So... Well, thanks for joining you know <laughs> as we unwind our schemes and history together. Bye. Bye.